thank you. Thank you, Helen. It's, it's really a pleasure to be here presenting Kuti one, one more time. So it's really exciting to see uh, so many people interested in understanding which is the real, how, how can Kuti help with this, uh, and what is different in Kodi with respect to other tools that we typically use in the uh, software development workflow. So I would like to start uh, first by thanking uh, both NERSC and OLCF, which have been supporting Appentra for quite some time now, several years, both by making the tools available to the users, even in very early uh, versions of the tools that has provided us a lot of feedback to be where we are today with the Kodi tool that you will be seeing here today, and that will be um, hopefully useful for you. And also OLCF, which has also been supporting the core development of Kodi technology and Kodi products for the community. So we are really uh, helpful that, we're really thankful that the DOE through NERC and OLCF are trusting Appentra and have been trusting us for, for these years. So really hope that this is the beginning of a journey to for all of this community to start using Kodi. And this only the start. So we really, as Nurse, as Helen pointed out, we really thank any feedback that you can provide about what is working well, what is not working at all, what can be improved according to your experience or to support your use cases in your applications, because all this feedback we collected and we use it to change and influence the core development roadmap of the Kodi technology and the Kodi product. So please feel free to um, be proactive in using the Q&A Google Doc document that Helen has shared in the chat, which can help us to collect a lot of feedback on the goods and bads of the tool today so that we can improve it uh, together with your feedback. So I'm going to share my, my screen now. So, um, Essentially, uh, as uh, Helen pointed out, today and tomorrow we will be doing the first uh, training sessions of a series of events that are planned for this year. So in these first two sessions, we will begin with, let's call it basic to introductory topics to Kodi and how Kodi can help to optimize performance of codes in particular, in general, and in particular, how it can assist you in creating uh, GPU codes enabled with OpenMP and OpenACC Pragmas to run on Perlmutter. And this will be the first events of a series that will continue in September, October. The date is still to be defined. We will cover more advanced topics from GPU uh, development uh, and programming techniques, from vectorization techniques that are also relevant and use, very useful in today's supercomputers like, like Perlmutter. So, Today and tomorrow we'll be covering what we consider basic topics and intermediate topics of the usage of Kodi. So we have a split and organized this, um, this session in four parts. So today we will be covering part one and part two. We have three hours ahead and we plan to do a 30 minute breaks in break in the middle. So we plan to start with this part one, where we will be basically introducing the Kodi tools and what makes them different. And essentially, you can summarize most of the capabilities available in Kodi in, with three words, shift left performance. So we will see and explore what shift left means and how for the first time Kodi is enabling to shift left performance. And this cannot be done with software only. This needs to be done only with collection and curation of um, coding best practices for performance and producing support documentation that the, to the tool can refer to and that the user of the tool can inspect and read to understand which are the issues in terms of performance, what is the solution and how to actually fix it. So in this first part, we will cover essentially shift left performance with the help of the Kodi uh, software installed on at NERSC. And essentially, you will also see a quick uh, walkthrough of how to optimize the very well-known uh, 
P computation in, in Perlmutter. The good news of this is that what you will be seeing with Pi, with the Pi example, exactly the same sequence of steps is what you will need to use in the following parts of the training. For instance, in the part two, also covered today, we will be addressing several GPU challenges. And in particular, one of them is how to identify parts of the code that can be actually offloaded to the GPU and how to optimize the memory layout for data transfers, particularly to avoid, uh, to increase the performance and tomorrow we will also see how to avoid defects or incorrect GPU code. But the good news, what we are, what CODI is expected to enable is a repeatable, systematic, uh, more predictable approach to performance optimization. Instead of relying on years or decades of experience in performance optimization and coming up with an idea of what can work, can work for a given piece of code, CODI provides a systematic approach that you will see. So the exactly the same sequence and process that you will be using for the Pi example in the first part, exactly the same process you will be using it for MATMUL to optimize MATMUL on Permuter. And also exactly the same sequence will be used tomorrow in the part three, where we will be focusing not on producing code that runs faster on permuting using GPUs, but on detecting incorrect GPU code that may be hidden in our implementations. And that when executed on the GPU, makes the code crash or make the code run incorrectly and producing incorrect results. Okay, This is what we call identifying defects in the GPU code. But again, I want to emphasize, you will be using the same steps, the same approach to identify defects that you have been using to optimize the performance of the Pi and MATMUL example codes. Um, finally, tomorrow, uh, the plan is also to leave uh, half of the session, maybe one hour, one hour and a half, for you to work on a more realistic example. Instead of working with simple kernels very well known like Pi or MATMUL, we have developed a simplification of the well-known Lulesh uh, Coral benchmark. That for the sake of training, we have simplified some parts of the code, but other parts of the code are exactly the same pieces of code that are key to parallelize and key to optimize for GPUs in the real Lulesh application. So you will, you will learn how to use code guided by Kudi, how to identify those challenges and how to provide and implement a solution to those challenges. And for this more free part of the session, we also typically try to encourage users to bring their own codes and to try to get started with Kodi. One of the things we have been working very, very hard in this last months of last year, 2021, is in streamlining how to get started with Kodi. So we have simplified a lot how to interact with build systems, how to interact with compilers, so that you can, we want you to be up and running producing the performance optimization report of Kodi as soon as possible, because that is really where the real value begins, where you really start to have insights about what are the issues in your code and how to fix them and which are the actual solutions to it. So tomorrow, for those of you that want to work at or try their own codes, we and the team will be supporting you through that step or after the feed, after the training session, you will have these office hours uh, available for you to make an appointment with NERSC and Appento team to try to see, to help you how to use Kodi with your own real application. For those that you don't want to or don't have available a code to work, we will prov be providing this Lulesh MK for you to play with the tool and understand and apply the concepts. So overall, what we propose to you is a journey to start with your own code written in C, C++ or Fortran and guide you through the steps of how to actually, in the end, port the code to the GPU, but in the middle, during that journey, address all the major challenges that you will need to address in real applications. So we use the simple examples of Pi and MATMUL to introduce and present uh, labs oriented to problem solving, where we'll be focusing on one particular challenge that is relevant. And that in the end, 
you will need all of those challenges to really optimize the performance and port real applications to, to GPUs. So here you will see that for Pi, we will be addressing one single challenge. For Matmul, we will be addressing three possible challenges and other two challenges are left out of the scope for this quick training, but will be addressed through problem solving and labs in the uh, second part of the training later in September and October. And you will see us Lulesh MK uh, microkernel that we propose to you essentially has something of all of the challenges that we expect to cover to, to take you and guide you through the journey of optimizing code to GPUs. Okay, so this is essentially um, what we wanted to, to cover as part of our welcome. So um, just keep in mind and bear in mind this table with the journey and with the how we will be presenting you with example codes of increasing complexity, starting from simple ones like Pi and Matmul, but that already have some GPU, you will be solving some GPU challenges that you will really need to address in real applications or in more complicated applications like Lulesh MK. Okay.